I know No Labels just announced last week that they're no longer putting forth this unity ticket, but what do you think the future is for this organization? Well, look, it's just been a week since we shut down our presidential effort. So what we're doing is we're, we're doing a lot of strategic planning, frankly, at this point, which is we, we had this big effort. Uh, we, we decided to shut it down for all the reasons we described. We, we didn't want to be a spoiler. Um, but what we did over the course of, of this effort is we significantly expanded this movement. I mean, over a million people signed petition in their states to get no labels on the ballot. A lot more people know what no labels is and what it stand, stands for. There's a lot of people who have seen themselves as politically homeless and now they see a home with no labels. So what we're, what we're gonna try to do is figure out how do we take these assets that we built over the last two years and really apply them to creating some more constructive change. We're still working through exactly how we're gonna do that, but I think it is very fair to say we're gonna be very active in supporting um, common sense problem solvers in the House, in the Senate, because that's what we did for a big chunk of the last decade before we started this uh, ballot access. It's really no secret that this is a extremely divisive time politically. So what do you see then as the future of both of these parties? Well, I mean, look, I think the future of both these parties um, is going to be they're going to go away if they don't adapt to changing times. And I know that seems impossible. We've had a very static system for really like 150 years since the Civil War. But look, the, the way democracies work is pretty simple. You get these parties and they come together. And if they meet the needs of a big enough chunk of people, then they can, can, can get power and they can govern. But if they don't do that over time, either they lose power or they go away. And I think the thing that when you look at both parties, look, you look at the Republican side, frankly, it has just kind of become a vehicle for Donald Trump's personal ambitions. And whether or not you have a position in the party really is dictated by your loyalty to Donald Trump or not. You look at the Democratic side and you see a party, and I came up in Democratic politics, you see a party that in a lot of ways is moving to the left and away from the center. So you see a party that used to be about equality of opportunity, and now it's about equity of outcomes. You see a party that used to be about giving people a hand up, and it's increasingly about giving handouts. And this is just not where most people are. It's not what they want from their government. And if the parties continue to be this unresponsive, to what the public wants. There's gonna be more competition over time.